came, it started on the LPGA Tour schedule in 2000. You won two years later. You've been having a phenomenal year this year. Three wins, eight top ten finishes, and only 13 starts. So coming back here, how are you feeling about your game and ready to go in Europe? I feel good. It's uh, it's always wonderful to come here. Fabian, it's just a, an amazing place. And, um, you know, it seems like this tournament has grown uh, every year. It just seems to improve in every area. And uh, it's just a, a wonderful place to come. They treat you very well. It's, um, I love it here. Like you said, you know, I've played well here also. And it, uh, you know, have some wonderful memories. And um, looking forward to the week. Okay, we'll take questions, please. Great mm -hmm. Associated Press. Does this tournament have a, a special place in your heart, in your affections? Maybe one that you might miss in the future? Um, I will miss this tournament. Uh, you know, for sure. Like I said, it's uh, you know I've been coming here for a while, and I've seen the tournament grow from just being you know just a regular stop on the European Tour to becoming one of the best tournaments on the LPGA. And, uh, you know, it's so nice to see the commitment from, uh, you know, from Evian and, and everybody here. And, um, you know, I remember the first time I played here, I think there was, well, there were no ropes. You know, there was maybe two spectators. And uh, now we have, you know, thousands. So uh, it's been uh, it's been great to see the tournament grow. And, I mean, I, I, I like it here very much. It's just so beautiful. My parents always come here. I bring other family members. And uh, it's just a great place. Here at Avion, Henry's given Annika a lesson. It's up to you, New York. You Start. know what I'm talking about, then. Yep. Start spreading the news. Start spreading the news. <laughs> She's rolling today. She wants to be a part of it. Oui, oui, Francais. Number one in 08. Annika's here in the Pro-Am with golf world stud Ron Syrak. <laughs> nice introduction. That, wow, you know. What, you what better place to be with her than here? I mean, this yeah. is just as gorgeous as it gets. I mean, watching great golf in a beautiful place. Can't Very nice. That. And you got to caddy a little bit today. You know, I appreciate a whole lot what Terry McNamara goes through. Boy, that's hard work out there and how well organized. It was amazing to see how fought out everything Annika and Terry done on the golf course. It's, it's, I mean, down to like, you know, you know, it's 89 at a pin, but you gotta hit it 91, cause it's gonna spin back too. That's pretty <laughs> impressive. And, 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 and not only do they know it, and she can do it. <laughs> there, there is a strategy to this. I mean, obviously after what, I think Terry and I worked together for nine years, so we figured it out. And I was just thinking, Terry and I, nine years, how many years have you, I mean, obviously you followed the LPGA a long time, but me, how, First time, I, first time I interviewed you was 96. 96, so, wow. So, so that's 12 years ago. But I've been covering you pretty full time since 02. Oh, so this is our 
seventh year, seventh so season, how, I think. How would you say I have? Have I changed? <laughs> yes, yes. I, you know, I mean, I, I was telling Mike earlier that mm -hmm. the. Uh, uh, first time I interviewed you, um, I ended up interviewing Colin because uh, I, was having <laughs> trouble getting, I was having trouble getting quotes from you. But uh, uh, you are, uh, um, and, and, and I'll go back to say, I think it happened, I think the whole run-up to Colonia, mm -hmm. that whole four months in there, and then what happened to Colonia, that was, which is probably the most amazing week I've, I've spent at a sporting event ever. Yeah. But, but uh, you really emerged from that. I, I felt like you emerged from there really comfortable for the first time being Annika, being the oh, superstar cool. Annika. Thank you, Ron. We appreciate that. I'll get more in a second before Helen hits into us. Not so fast, Ron. Back to you. Are you going to get Annika to come in and help you edit a story since you had the caddy for her? No way. I'm afraid she'd be too good at it and I'd be out of a job. I've seen, <laughs> I've seen, I've seen how uh, the, the passion and the perfection she brings to everything she does. She'd do it better than me and I'd be in trouble. Uh, I don't know, but we've really appreciated your work throughout the years and really enjoy your company. What's been the most exciting thing about follow, following Annika over the years for you? I think, and I feel so blessed by this, I think from 2001 through 2005, that five years in there, I saw golf played better than anyone's ever played it. Uh, I mean, one of the most astounding numbers, she played 104 LPGA events in that five-year period and won 43 of them. And I think she finished in the top 10 something like 86 times in there. It was really, when I think back at that time, the golf shots of hers that stand out in my mind the most were the bad ones because there were so few of them. And when they happened, they were startling. I, I think it might be the greatest five-year stretch that anybody, male or female, has ever had in, in competitive golf. That's very nice, and you've seen a lot of golf, so thanks for your time. Thank you.